Control! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space, missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of... The Space Patrol! Space Patrol is presented by Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa in the bright red can and those terrific Nestle's chocolate bars. Twelve seconds. Father, twice I questioned your judgment and twice I was wrong. But now are you sure it's right to attack the fortress with our friends inside? Didn't you hear me give my promise? But they'll all be destroyed. Three seconds. Stand by to give the order to fire. Me? You, son. Give the order in time. But, but, Father... Give the order at once. Stand by for exciting action on the defeat of Monza in just one moment. Dead happy? I thought you were going to do a little studying this morning. Uh, that's right, Commander. Something about checking theories on the supersonic speed. Right again, sir. That's what I'm doing. Here in the galley? Well, yes, sir. What better place? You see, according to my theory, I think, I think I can cut a whole second off the speed record for making Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa. Oh, I see. Yes, sir. Here, you hold the stopwatch. See how I make out. All right. Now, according to my figures, if I line everything up just like this, then I can whiz right through it like this. So, three teaspoons of my cup. Stir a little. How'd I do? Remarkable hat, simply astonishing. It only took you 8.458 seconds. Now watch this. But, uh, mm. <laughs> Commander, gee whiz, I, I was... Oh, well, since I've cut the time down so far, I might as well make another cup for myself. Uh, allow me, Hap. It's a pleasure. Well, you know, Commander, speaking of energy, I thought you were going to check up on the recreation program today. Well, that's what I'm doing, Hap. A cup of Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa is... A whole recreation program all by itself. Nestle's is such fun whenever you drink it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, or between meals. But it's on every space patroller's daily schedule. Mmm. Smoking rockets, Commander. You sure know what you're talking about. Oh, I just like to think about that. That smooth Nestle's chocolate flavor. Mmm. That smooth chocolate consistency. Mmm. Boy, the way it slides down, I, I can almost taste it right now. Well, here, old man, be my Nestle's guest. <laughs> Four and one-third light years away from our solar system, in a group of stars known as the Centauri system, lies a planet ruled over by a weird, invisible being called Monza. <laughs> High above this planet hovers a squadron of saucer-like spaceships piloted by a race of people determined to recapture their homeland below from Monza at any cost. These are the Icarians, led by General Nardo and his command ship. Using a jet pack to cross from Terra 5 to General Nardo's ship, Commander Buzz Corey succeeded in halting the Icarians' attack on Monza's fortress, where Cadet Happy and Major Robertson are being held prisoners. Then, as Buzz with General Nardo and his son Grit, plot the defeat of the mysterious master of the planet below. Get a happy corner, Commander Corey. Not quite the best. Here, Commander, answer. Happy, are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm all right, but Carol is. Carol? Yes, sir. The man's a brother here, and he says that if you don't return to this fortress immediately and alone, that he's going to... Happy, come in. Happy! And... Far below, in the master control section of the walled fortress, Happy awaits Buzz's answer, powerless to resist the invisible, bodiless voice that is the being Monza. Commander! Commander, did you hear me? Commander! Well, don't worry, Carol. The, the commander will... will... Carol! All right, Monza, what did you do with it? 
That's a big idea, putting Carol in there. She can keep Major Roberts in company. Unless, of course, the commander fails to return and I bring her back to use the paid grip on it. to do, return to the fortress. Commander, who is this, uh, this Carol? She's the daughter of the Secretary General, the elected head of my solar system. Of course, Commander, you must return. And there goes our plan. Maybe not. Maybe this is a break. I can see that you have a plan. We'll do anything we can to help. I know you will, General Nardo. I do need something from you. Name it, my friend. A weapon. A small, easily concealed weapon, one that Mandra can't detect. Here. Wear this. Ring? It's an unusual ring, Commander. One capable of injecting deadly point. This is the one Griff told me about. Gives out with a, a needle-like blast of powerful force. That's right, Commander. Operates by pressing here. Yes. Good, this will do it. There's, uh, there's one more thing I must ask of you. Yes? Your promise that if you don't hear from me in 15 minutes that my plan works, you resume your heat ray bombardment of the fortress. Attack with you and your friends and your men inside. If I fail and you don't defeat Manza now, his thirst for power will not end here. Manza's treacherous influence must be stamped out for all time. This might be our last chance. The last chance for the survival of civilization. Oh, but you'll succeed, I'm certain. Of Promise it. me. Very well. If it appears to me that all other hope is lost, I'll resume the attack. Fifteen minutes from now. Check. Thank you, General Nardo. I hope you won't have to keep that promise. Now, here's my plan. I've waited long enough. Now I will show Corey that I mean business. What are you going to do? It is time for the girl to feel the pain whip. Oh, no, you don't. You said you'd use the pain whip on her if the commander didn't come back. And he's not here. Correct, Mons, I am here. Command. Welcome back, Commander Corley. But, Carl, what has he done with it? Locked her up in there with the Major. Then, Rob Monza, I've kept my part of the bargain. Of course you did, Commander. But now I'm through playing your little game. I need men to operate my weapons against Nardo ships above. You are going to make this possible. You, Commander Corley, you are going to order your men to stand by on the gun turrets to cooperate. I am. Stop being such a fool, Corey. You're defeated and you know it. Lanza, how do you expect me to direct my men in fighting a war when I don't even know how to operate the weapons myself? Commander, you're not going to give in. Of course he is, Cadet. The Knowledge Bank, Commander. The Knowledge Bank will inject into your mind all the technical information you'll need to understand the operation of the master controls in this room and the weapons. Commander, Commander, you're not going to give up. The smoke and rockets, Commander, we're not beaten yet, but we can still win. Don't give up. Commander! Stand back, Cadet. I won't let you do it. Just relax, Commander Corbin. Just relax. The Knowledge Bank will fill your mind with the years of technical knowledge required to construct my defenses. In a matter of seconds, you will know every control on the master panel, every weapon, every device that exists for my protection. In a new quarter, you shall command my forces against the Icarian fleet which hovers above. You shall win the space war for Monza. <laughs> Eleven minutes have passed. And in four minutes, we must give the order to fire the heat rays on the fortress. Maybe Commander Corey will call. What if he's failed? What if Mons has won again? We'll just have to wait and see. Wait. Four more minutes.
Now, Commander, let us waste no time. Go to the panel. Examine it. You will be amazed at your own knowledge of its function. Commander, did it actually work? Do you really know how to operate this panel and the weapons? I've been doing it for years. Almost like I constructed that control panel myself. Yeah, but, Commander, you're not going to do what Manzer says, are you, sir? I know the location and purpose of every control. You're not going to order Cadet Clay and the others to, to fire on the general ships, are you, sir? I know the wiring, location of tubes. Commander, don't do it! And behind this you... panel is the nerve center of weapons control. <laughs> Commander, you blew it up! You, you fool! You destroyed my weapons! Exactly, Manzer! Now your guns won't work. It's impossible for you to wage war. You'll regret this, Corey. Surrender, Manzo. Surrender to the forces of Nardo. No! I will never surrender to humans. I'll never. I'll call Nardo and tell him to land. No! Stay away from that transceiver. I'm not defeated yet. You and your friends are still my prisoners, Corey. I can at least render you helpless with the pain whip. And as long as you are inside my fortress, Nardo will not attack. Don't be too sure of that, Monster. Nardo promised that he would attack if I didn't call him and tell him of your surrender. Exactly 15 minutes from the time I left his ship will be bombarded with heat rays that'll melt this fortress you've constructed around you. Then you'll be exposed. You'll be in plain sight, Monster. An easy target for the Icarian. Yeah. So it looks like you lose, Monster. Unless he hears my voice, Nardo will attack in exactly one minute. Then let him attack. I will not surrender, and you will not make that call. The pain whip will keep you silent, Corey. Then I'll call. Oh, you fools! You've achieved nothing but your own destruction at the hands of your own kind. I alone shall survive the heat ray of the Icarian. I, Monza. Master of the human race! <laughs> Space Patrollers, want to see a demonstration of rocket speed you can perform in your very own home? Well, then watch. I'm going to take some Nestle's Ever Ready from this big red can and put one, two, three teaspoons in my cup. Add a little hot water like this and stir. And there's your cocoa. How do you like that? One, two, three, whoosh! Just as fast as blasting off into space. And what a blast off it gives you. Rocket packed and full of energy. Mm. Seriously, fellas and girls, I want to tell you, you've never tasted anything so downright good. Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa is so smooth, so rich, has the same sensational flavor as your favorite Nestle chocolate bar. Now, wouldn't you like to have a treat like this every morning for your super-fueling breakfast? Well then, tell Mom, Commander Corey says it's good for you. And tell Mom it's the only instant cocoa made with rich whole milk already in it. It only needs water added to make a real delicious bodybuilding hot drink. A hot send-off just like Mom and Dad have. So, make sure your galley is stocked like this. You and Mom can spot the big red and yellow can of Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa in your grocery store. And remember... N-E-S-T-L-E-S -E -S. Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. <laughs> Back to Space Patrol! Twelve seconds. Father, twice I questioned your judgment, and twice I was wrong. But now, are you sure it's right to attack the fortress with our friends inside? Didn't you hear me give my promise? But they'll all be destroyed. Three seconds. Stand by to give the order to fire. Me? You, son. Give the order. It's time. But, but, Father, I... Give the order at once. No, I, I'm sorry, Father. I, I, I can't do it. I can't. I'm pleased, my son. I don't understand. You ordered me. I would have stopped you in time. You pleased me with your good judgment, Griff. And you show evidence of wisdom. I wouldn't have used my weapons against a friend either. Well, what about your, your promise to Commander Corey? My promise was very carefully worded. I said, 
If it appears to me that all other hope is lost, I will resume the attack. But I do not concede that all hope is lost, and I think Commander Corey will forgive me. Way past time, Commander. I still don't feel the heat rays from General Nardo's ship. It is past time. <laughs> well, what's so funny? You humans, you don't even understand your own weaknesses. What do you mean, weakness? Sentiment. I knew Nardo would not attack as long as his fellow human beings were here. <laughs> and General Nardo, can you hear me, Commander Corey? Look, what do we do now, sir? Commander Corey, you will answer him. What? You will answer General Nardo Corey. You will tell him that Monza is willing to surrender. I don't believe you. Of course you don't believe me. But you will tell him that anyway. You will tell him that if he alone will lower his ship and hover just above the fortress, I am willing to come aboard and talk peace. General Nardo calling Commander Corey. You don't want to talk peace. You just want to get rid of that force shield. The, the one that keeps you from projecting yourself inside his ship. Cadet? Sometimes you almost show evidence of intelligence. What if I refuse, Monza? The girl, Corey, and the Major will suffer for your lack of cooperation. General Nardo calling Commander Corey. If you can hear me, answer. Answer him, Corey. Obey me. And this time, no trick. This is Commander Corey. Commander, are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm all right. I have a message for you from Monza. He said he's willing to surrender. Excellent. I knew you'd succeed. He will lower your ship to a hovering position just slightly above the fortress. Then he will force project himself inside your ship. I see. Commander, do you recommend that I do this? Yes, Nardo, I do recommend it. Very well, then. I'll do it. Uh, one more thing, Nardo. I'm very glad you failed to keep your promise. Corey out. Well done, Commander Corey. <laughs> It's almost too good to be true, Father. Monza's willing to, to surrender at last. If it only were true. But it is true. No, my son. It's a plan to capture me, a trap. How do you know that? Commander Corey told me. Well, how did he tell you? In many ways, by the sound of his voice. If only if we were really victorious, he would have... His voice would have shown it. He would have explained why it took him so long to answer. The last thing he said told me that man's was still in control. The last thing? Yes, he said, you failed to keep your promise. Yes, but he should be glad of that. Then why didn't he say so? I don't know. He didn't say that he was thankful we didn't attack because man's is still in control. There can be no other reason. Well, you won't go. I must. But, Father, it's a trap. You said so yourself. You've seen great courage demonstrated by our friend Commander Corey. Would you expect any less of me? Of course not, Father. I'll call squadron leader for her. I'll have him pull alongside so you can transfer to his ship. I must go along. A few moments later, the flagship of the Icarian fleet carries its load occupants lower and lower toward the surface of the planet. Nearer and nearer to the fortress. Closer and closer to the trap set by the evil Monza. General Nada to Commander Corey. My ship hovers over the fortress. I await your instructions. Smoking rocket thing. I was hoping he wouldn't come. But he did. And now, Commander Corey, remember, any attempt to warn him, and it will mean the death of all your friends, as well as yourself. Commander Corey calling General Nardo. Nardo will force project himself aboard your ship if you will shut off your protective beam. It is done, Commander. Manza can jump aboard now. Look, I'm not a Commander. Isn't there any way we can stop him? Manza. Manza, are you still here? Hey. He's gone. Smoking rockets, Commander. It sure looks like Manza's gonna make good his threat to control the whole human race. Not if our new friend General Nardo will forgive me for subjecting him to a great deal of punishment. What? Oh, at last, General Nardo, we meet. At last, I have penetrated your shield. At last, the leader of the Icarian is my prisoner. Are you sure of that, Master? General Nardo! 
Turn on your protective shield at once. Turn it on. This is done, Commander, and I understand. Turn that switch off. I order you. It'll be painful, Otto. Hold on as long as you can. Give me time. Go ahead, Commander. Find out the secret of man's and destroy him. Move away from that switch. Try and move me. <laughs> is that the best you can do, Manza? Listen, Rockets, why didn't I think of that? Sure, if that protective shield will, will keep Manza out of the ship, it'll also keep him in. Well, if Otto can hold out against that pain whip, come on. Don't be a fool, Nardo. You can't possibly keep me in here. I can try. Then you will regret it. The pain whip, Nardo, that will change your mind. by the innermost wall. <laughs> Move away from that switch. That is as long as I'm conscious. The pain whip will take care of that. Monza really looks like. That's where you gotta find out. It's fast. You go this way. Look for a way in. Right? Uh, hurry, Commander. Uh, hurry. Let go. Let go. <laughs> Let's get inside. Right. Bunch of crystals. A colony of crystals, Happy. But, Commander, I don't see how a bunch of rocks could have have intelligence, uh, let alone life. Well, why not? In our solar system, carbon and its compounds are the basis of protoplasm, the essential substance of our bodies. Why not a silicon life form in, in this system? Oh, I can't argue with that, sir. I'm looking at it. The superior intelligence generated by this life form is because. Nature arranged these seven crystals in a mathematical pattern to form a colony. Sure, just like Manza said. He must be the big one in the center. Exactly. And the others feed their mental power to him. Well, then all we have to do to whittle Manza down to size is just to mess up the arrangement of those rocks. That's right, huh? Well, what are we waiting for? Not a thing. Let's go. No! <laughs> Manza, he got out of Nardo's... Yes, and I'm here, right beside you. How's he going to break up this colony? You'll never reach me, never! Stay back, or you'll feel the match of the paper a hundred times! Stay back! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Stay away! <laughs> I have defeated the human. I am still the master. I am master. <laughs> Ah, 
hard to believe. Just a colony of crystals. But now that they're separated, man's is defeated. Well, the crystals still contain life, but as long as they're scattered, they'll never again be able to generate enough power to do any harm. I'll see to that, Commander. And my friends, please accept the grateful thanks of a grateful people. You've restored the Icarians to their rightful home on this planet. Couldn't have done without your help, not at all. Frankly, I'm glad it's over. Hey, you know, Commander, that, uh, that Monza never did really worry me. I didn't have? Why not? No. Hey, he didn't bother me, but could you see, um, I could see through Monza from the very beginning. <laughs> Look, you see, man, I could, I could see... <laughs> In just a moment, a preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure, which will be brought to you by Rice Check and Wheat Check, the bite-sized breakfast cereals in the red and white checkerboard packages. Here it is, gang, Commander Corey's official Space Patrol periscope. Periscope with a mirror eye that works like magic. So you can see around corners. It's tapered special for wide angle vision. Spy over fences. The periscope's a big, big 24 inches high. Peer at your pals, and all the time you're peering at them, you see them, but they can't see you. That's the periscope mirror magic. And space patrollers, when you get ready for that trip to outer space, remember. Your periscope is top official space patrol equipment, complete with a special identification chart showing you what the people who live on all the major planets might look like. Yes, the space patrol periscope's got everything for a real space patroller. Better send for yours today. To get your periscope, send a rice checks or wheat checks box top together with your name and address and 25 cents in coin to Space Patrol, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. Offer good only in USA and may be withdrawn at any time. That's Space Patrol. Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. And now a scene from next week's exciting action, The Giant of Pluto, number three. Move them rockets, Commander. I shot him with a ray gun, and then you hit him with all your might, and he didn't even feel it, and he kicked me around like I was a fly. Half, he's almost like a giant. If you don't stop him soon, Half, he'll have a whole army of giants. An invincible army of giants. Be sure to see what happens when Buzz and Happy encounter the Giants of Pluto number three next week on Space Patrol. Famous Nestle chocolate bars. Remember, N-E-S, T-L-E-S. Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. Be sure to hear Space Patrol on ABC Radio every Saturday. Consult your newspaper for time and station. <laughs>